Hello everyone, it's your friend Moonhorse here, and it's time for more stories. I know, you're ready, I'm ready. This is going to be a tough one, I can tell just from the title alone, so let's get ready. From Reddit user Alfarius, hey Alfarius, I know you, how's it going man? This is my ex, and how she ruined our lives. Oh dear. So this is a heartfelt post that's actually extremely hard to write out. This is about my abusive ex, and I think it's time I told the story about her. I met her my senior year of high school, and frankly, she was hot. And for someone who is a recovering beard, she was far out of my league. And to make a long story short, we had been together a couple months, and we decided to get a place together. A room in a two-story house with other people. I made the smartest decision of my life and put my name on the lease, and she didn't. It wasn't long after that the abuse started. She would hit me, scratch me, scream at me 24-7. She had to know where I was and what I was doing at all times. At this point, I tried to leave her when she threatened to say that I raped her if I left her. Wow. So, I'm stuck. Then for the first time, she forced herself on me, Ooh. literally pinned me down and assaulted me. I was trying hard to get out of that relationship, but I couldn't, so I kind of gave up. I accepted I was stuck. It was at this time that I met a really cool, bald-ass hippie girl at my local hippie store. I had gone in for a pillow for my bed, and I'll call her Adria. She put it, you look like you might need help. And she gave me her number to call just in case I, well, needed help. Later that night, I texted her and told her everything. A complete stranger. Because, you know, what do I have to lose? Adria said that if I need a place to stay away from her, to text her. And I actually started staying there on my days off by telling my ex I was working. Just chilling. Adria was really nice. She listened to my issues and gave me tips on how to get out of this. It was at this point that my ex forced herself on me a second time. Fuck. About three weeks later, she gave me the best and worst news of my life. I was going to be a father. Honestly, I was more excited than scared. I talked to Adria, who had a spare room, and told her I'd pay half her rent if I could use it as a kid's room. I lawyered up to leave her and get full custody when my kid was born. Somehow my ex found out and left town to Michigan for a couple of days. No big deal, just some time for her, I thought. Until she came back. Without our child. This is extremely hard to write because I didn't know someone could be so evil and out of spite to do this. I was completely broke. I didn't know what to do, so I just went to Adria and I, I wept. She held me and helped me for several days while I was there. And my ex went around talking about how skinny she was now. Eventually, I got a recording of my ex saying that if I left her, she would say that I raped or abused her. I gave it to the principal of the school and the police, and then told them about the abuse. The abuse I was facing, but since I was the beard, nobody believed me. Except Adria, who was there every step of the way. I kicked my ex out of the apartment and threw all her stuff on the lawn. Adria decided she wanted to move in. After that, Adria and I kicked our relationship off, which is amazing. Although we broke up a long while later when she moved to another state to take care of family and attend school, we're still really good friends. Now, jump forward several months, I started my first security job for the company at the mall, also did security in some of the other parts of town. In the lease agreement on the apartment, it states that security has the right to raid your home and, ev and evict no questions asked. I'm entirely sure this isn't legal, but the company paid upwards of $500 a raid sometimes maybe a thousand on others. So we didn't question it. Anyone in the company could work around and help with raids. Corporate bought our gear cheap from the military. We're talking full-blown armor vests with crotch neck, shoulder guards, high caliber ARs, leg and elbow armor, full ballistic face mask, helmet, the works. We're supposed to be intimidating, but the kids always thought we were the coolest thing in the neighborhood. We even got called robocops by an old lady who witnessed a shootout with one of our guards. Now keep in mind this company broke just about every rule and law in my state to keep people safe and I don't like talking about what we did there because honestly I'd rather just forget it, but one raid set the others apart. 
breached a two-story apartment to evict the people living there, as their lease stated. It would only be two people living, but there were almost 15 in the apartment. They had threatened anyone who tried removing them would be killed. We got most of the people on the floor out and zip-cuffed on the lawn, and I started upstairs with another guy as we entered a room. I heard someone scream behind me and something impacted with my vest and shattered like glass, so I swung my elbow behind me and connected with a human. I heard a crunch. I spun around to see nobody other than my ex touching her jaw, which I had caved in with an armored elbow pad. I radioed for someone to call an ambulance and we drag her out. She had been living in a drug house, cracked out of her mind, and thought she could stab me with a needle. Her jaw is now slightly caved in and honestly she looks like a meth head. Her jaw being busted up doesn't help. I see on Facebook sometimes where she talks about finding the guy who did it to her and killing him. She has no idea it was me. And if she does somehow find this and read this, fuck you. Thanks everyone if you made it this far. It felt good to get this off my chest. And if you read this moon horse, you rock. Well, thank you for being brave enough to write this out. That That is one hell of a story. Just, wow. <sighs> Well, if you ever need anybody to talk to, you know where we are. This whole community is here for you, man. And we love you. And I love all of you. You guys are the best. Uh, and I got I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next episode, though, okay? All right. Take care of yourselves now. I mean that. Bye.